Hey guys, what's up? It's UTech 200 here, and I'm going to show you guys how you can make a cool intro video. Okay, so firstly, what you need to do is find a cool video loop, and the link will be in the description. This is movietools.info, and here you can just choose a loop that you want. So here I have a selection of loops. You can also pay for some. So I'm going to choose one of them. And all I'm going to do is select download. And save it to where I want. And you can see it is downloading over here. Next what we want is some free music. And this is looperman.com. The link is will also be in the description. What you have to do here is you have to register a free account and you can try various loops and you can download them. I already have one that I uh, like, but here you can just go download loop and it will download the same as your video loop. Okay, so firstly what you need is a program called Windows Movie Maker. This is for Windows or you can use iMovie. A uh, link will be in the description and you might have it already. So simply go start and type in Movie Maker and it will look like that. Not Windows Live, Windows Movie Maker. And the interface looks something like this. A whole bunch of stuff here. Blank here. Preview screen over here. And the timeline down here, which you can also do in storyboard. But we're doing timeline. Okay, so firstly you want to check that you have the latest version of Windows Movie Maker. You figure this out by going help about Windows Movie Maker and seeing that your version is 2.6. Uh, just download the link in the description. Alright, so you can see here that the video is finally done downloading. Now we're going to open up Movie Maker and on the side by Movie Tasks, by clicking Tasks, we're going to go Import Video, the video we just downloaded, click Import, and it will quickly import. Sorry, that's just my screen recorder doing that. And here on the side you can watch a little preview of it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now what we want to do is drag it into our timeline. You click it, hold it down until this little symbol comes up and you drag it onto where it says video. Now what we can do, you can either drag multiple ones one by one or you can go control copy and control paste. Uh, just press V and you can get it to the time that you want. Say we want 20 seconds, we'll do like that. And on the side here, we can see what it looks like. That's very cool. And people, if you want to add some music, you simply go import audio or music. You can import some action music. Um, and we just drag it down to where it says audio. And we can make that bigger. Uh, copy it. And make sure it's in line with the clip. Next what we want to do is add a title. So click it and then go make title or credits. Title on the selected clip. There you go. And now you can see what it looks like on the side. Now we can go change title animation. So I'm just going to scroll through a couple of these so you can see it. And it will give you a little preview on the side. There you go. Mirror. Okay, and when we're happy with something, we go done, add to title. You can also change the font transparency, stuff like that. And down the bottom here, you can see the title overlay. So we'll go back to the start and we'll preview it. There you go. So if I want that title for a little bit longer, go here and like that. You can also add some video effects such as film oldest. Well, to add them, simply all you do is click it and hold it and drag it on top of the clip. So instead of looking like this, your clip will then look like that. You can also add multiple effects. Now, once you're happy with it, you go file save movie file, save it to your computer, um, test intro, next, 
this playback quality and it will give you an estimated time of how long it's going to take. So it shouldn't take too long. So you 10 seconds, see where it's saving to. And then play movie when I click finished. And I will show you the final product.